Hello everyone. We have two easy questions today. One is from TSD and one is from clocks. We'll learn how to find out the angle between the hands of a clock at a particular time. So the first question is excluding stoppages, the average speed of a bus is 90 km per hour and including stoppages, the average speed of the bus is 75 km per hour. For how many minutes does the bus stop per hour? So we can only calculate this. That means how many minutes does the bus stop per hour only when we have the stoppage time. Now how to calculate the stoppage time? We know that normally the bus is going at 90 km per hour when there are no stoppages. Or we can say that it is covering 90 km in 1 hour. I hope this is clear. But when there are stoppages, its average speed is becoming 75 km per hour. So definitely it would be stopping somewhere. That's why the average speed is lesser in this case. So when it is covering 75 km, let us see how many hours is it taking. So let it be x hours. When we cross multiply and solve, we'll be getting x equal to 5 by 6 hours or if we convert them into minutes, I'll be getting 50 minutes over here. I hope this is clear. So usually the bus should take 50 minutes to travel 75 kilometers per hour, but now it is taking one hour. So that means the stoppage time is 60 minus 50 minutes, which means 10 minutes is the stoppage time per hour. So normally the bus should have covered 75 kilometers in 50 minutes, but due to stoppages, it is taking one hour. So that means it is taking 10 minutes extra. That is the stoppage time. So every hour it will stop for 10 minutes. I hope this is clear. Let us come to the second problem. Now it is based upon clocks. At what time between four and five o'clock will the hands of a clock? First one is be together. Now to calculate the angle between hands of a clock, we have a formula which is 5.5 M minus 30 H. M denotes the minutes, H denotes the hours. For example, if someone asks you that find out the angle between hands of a clock at 2.30 PM. So you will be putting M equal to 30, H equal to 2. I hope that is clear. Now when we talk about the first question, hands of the clock are together. So if this is a clock, if hands of the clock are together, that means the angle between them is zero. Because how to read an angle? If there are two lines like this, we always read the angle in anti-clockwise direction. So if hands of the clock are together, there is no angle between them. It is zero. So 5.5, we are talking the time between four and five o'clock. So very clearly H will have value four. So 5.5 M, we do not know the exact minutes at which there'll be zero angle between them. Minus 30 H is four. This should be equal to zero. So M will be equal to 120 upon 5.5 or so when you solve this further, you will be getting 240 by 11 and M that means these are in minutes. So four hours and 240 by 11 minutes. So that means this should be the time. So we can write the answer as 240 by 11 minutes after four or post four, the angle between the hands clock will be zero. Similarly, let us solve the second one. In the second one, they are pointing in opposite direction. So one hand will be towards this side. Another would be towards this side. So the angle between them, if we read anti-clockwise, it is 180 degrees. So 5.5 M, we have to calculate M minus 30 into H will again be four. That should be equal to 180 degrees. So when you solve this, you get M equal to 300 by 5.5 which gives us 600 by 11 minutes so 600 by 11 minutes after 4 they will point in opposite direction similarly you have to solve the third one be at right angle with each other you will simply replace this 180 by 90 and then do the calculations that would give you the answer so i hope this is understood if you have any doubt please ask again thank you